is a self-described black Israelite. Now what this is, is a group that believes they are the true Jews. This is his words, this is on November 13, 2015. He posted this uh, poster with text on it that has Adolf Hitler on it that says, Hitler knew who the real Jews were. Now, he said, the, this is the real thing right here, this is research. Clearly this man has some foreign ideologies, clearly this man has some specific motivations. We can't, I, I can't be stupid enough just to believe what the police have said, that there is no evidence. What have we just shown you? This man's connection to the Black Israelites is interesting because, again, if you think back to the Cummington boys, the ones that were protesting but then were harassed and, and defamed and then ultimately became millionaires, uh, Nicholas Sandman was also uh, getting intels with a Black Israelite. They have a record of violence and justifying it on themselves. Clearly, in this case, there is a connection in addition to the mass murder. Now, as of the recording of this report, there are five dead, 40 wounded, and 18 children who are fighting for their lives right now. Any uh, sane American who's seen that video, that video of that SUV plowing through the crowd. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, okay. we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushab, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to Akim that's pushing this word throughout the four corners of Broadway with truth and sincerity. And shalom to the Akim Wa Athwats, to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh I mean, he is the savior, he is the deliverer by Hashem in the name. Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit, and through the Holy Spirit, we are going to decipher uh, uh, Esau's um, evil plots, his uh, his tricks, his, his, his deception, man. And you know, we pray everything is edifying, and we just played this video of an uh, article that we got from a brother, I believe it's a GMS Austere man. You know, we're just uh, lambacking off this article or this little clip that you just seen. And what's happening, uh, I believe a few days ago, um, there was a Christmas parade and there was a SUV that plowed through that parade and killed five people and injured uh, uh, 20 or 40 plus people. And now through the media outlets, you know, that the, the witchcraft that these devils be using to, to, to that mass media to, to push forth their agendas and their, their, um, their plans, is now targeting a group. And as you can see first on this title, it says anti-white terrorism. This is pedophile black Israelite murders Christians. And now see they're pushing the narrative to uh, say that the black Hebrew Israelites, quote unquote black Hebrew Israelites, because we're not black, are our potential threat to society as equivalent to KKK, equivalent to Al-Qaeda, equivalent to all the uh, groups or... or, or you know, uh, evil groups that's in the earth, man. So this is part of their, um, it's written in the scriptures, uh, persecution of the saints, man. And we're not ignorant to Satan's devices, man. When this brother showed me this, we started laughing, you know, because uh, we seen black Hebrew Israelites uh, murders, but then I didn't even see the pedophile, you know, what, what they have to do with anything, man. And it just proves that, hey, these devils are soon to use this narrative to uh, this persecution to remove anybody that believes that they're a true Hebrew Israelite. They believe in the Bible and and, and, and coin them as a uh, anti-Semitic or uh, a radical uh, terrorist. And we're not ignorant of their devices, man. You know, so, hey, man, we, we see we see this shit. And, and again, this is part of the cause. So when you become a prophet of the uh, heavenly father and his only begotten son, you're going to be ridiculed. You're going to be blamed uh, falsely from evil and uh, and persecuted, man. Can we get that real quick? I got some, uh, Matthew. I got one in Luke back. You okay, know? come, come. Uh, uh, Luke 14, verse 28. For which one of you intending to build a tower, sit if not down first and counted the cost, what he had sufficient to finish it. You know, that's exactly what it is, like we said before, right? You have to count the cost, know what you're getting yourself involved into. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we are living in a time, being a Hebrew Israelite, that's going like to be like a death sentence. That's, that's, a, right. that's the stage that this devil is trying to set up with. He's trying to portray 
the uh, the Israelites as the bad guy, the terrorist, man. Yep. And uh, Esau has the power to do so. Esau has the power to make a a a, a guilty man uh, uh, look like a uh, look like innocent, yep. and an innocent man look like uh, look like he's guilty. That's right. And with this article that is deliberately uh, um, playing the De famous, the famous, but they're literally def uh, um, using their emotions to to make you uh, hate. A so-called black Hebrew Israelite or the Hebrew Israelite movement, man. And again, this is uh, that that media, man. That's that witchcraft that that Esau portrays, man. And like the brother mentioned, man, he could make an evil man look like the a Nobel a Nobel Peace Prize winner, and he could make a good, innocent, righteous man look like the scum of the earth, the uh, 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 terrorist, man. And we're not ignorant to that, cause uh, through the spirit and power of Shem I was shy, and they said that this Israelite dude has a motive. We know through the spirit we're not supposed to be doing things like this. We're supposed to preach this word and and and, and not do anything physical uh, uh, retaliation in, in, in these events, man. Yeah. You know, we're supposed to wait upon our Lord. So we know that this is just uh, what you call it. Um, it's, 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 it's they're falsely accusing so they can ultimately come down and make the world hate you Hebrew Israelites so they can ultimately point you out, put you to death, or put you in jail, man. Yeah, you know? that's exactly what it is. These devils, they have to set up an environment to turn, to turn the whole world against you. That's right. You know, first he has to de demonize you so that people can side with him. That's right. And, and these people, they're going to think they're doing the right thing by coming up against us, man. Yep, and he's using that to justify his actions because he's the devil, man. Esau Edom. He's the deceiver. He's the false uh, uh, accuser. You mm. know, this all could have been a, a hoax or, or, or a false flag. Mm. Well, I mean, people really did get ran through, but ultimately, I mean, ran by and, and killed. But uh, when you look at the dude, I think it was Brooks, Man, the dude don't look like he's part of a Hebrew Israelite group, man. So this is just uh, ultimately um, uh, evil against spoken about us falsely. And I got that real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew 5, verse 10. Mm -hmm. And uh, the points in, uh, yeah, verse 10 to 12. Matthew 5, verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Mm, mm, that's exactly what it is, right? Because the whole world is lying wickedness, because the world is governed by the wicked. Right. So anything righteous going to be like a, 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 a threat against them. That's right. So automatically it's going to react by coming up against them, by, by coming up. By coming up against the truth and by demonizing it. That's right. And that's exactly what it is, right? And it yeah. says, a blessed day when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all many evil against you. Yeah, so right. by us pushing, professing Yahweh Shai, pushing the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, that's a, a direct violation to Esau's uh, New World Order agenda. That's right. So ultimately, we're going to be reviled, evil spoken of, for, for believing in Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is the most controversial man ever. When Yahweh Shai was on the scene, he wasn't. Uh, uh, when he was on the scene two thousand years ago, right? He wasn't uh, with the Romans. He was against the Romans. That's right. You know, he said, "If this was my kingdom, my servant will fight." And he knew that that back then that it was a time. Just like today, we know that that's this isn't our time. This isn't our time to fight. But the fight belongs to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh that's Shai right. is gonna be the one that's gonna bring forth the smoke to Esau, man. Yeah, and this is how we know this is not really a true Hebrew Israelite in the right mind or right spirit that would do things like this. Again, we were commanded from the Heavenly Father once we have this light and knowledge, wisdom, understanding to go out and prophesy. You know, bring that light, not to go out and make war, no out to go uh, do any retaliation, especially uh, for no case or things of this world, man. We're supposed to wait upon our Lord because he it says he it says his vengeance. Vengeance is his, man. The That's vengeance right. first starts at Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. So this is this we could definitely see the uh, uh the the wiles and the tricks of the devil, man. We're yeah. not ignorant of it, man. Yeah, and also it says too, like hey, so they uh it says our uh, verse twelve, rejoice and exce be exceedingly glad mm -hmm. for great is your reward in heaven. That's right. For so persecuted they the prophet which were before of you. So the prophet, the prophets of all, they have been always hated, man. So the fact that these devils are coming against us, it's a sign to let you know that we're the prophets, man. That's right. That's right. And there's a time that, okay, again, like the brother mentioned, even Yahweh Shai got persecuted. Mm -hmm. He got uh, mocked. He got uh, accused, falsely accused. So how much more his servants, man? Mm -hmm. You know, it says the servant's not greater than his master, mm -hmm. you know? And this is going to cause, again, people, this is just the narrative they push 
emotion and, and manipulating the minds of the weak through this emotional shit, man. And, and you know, fake uh, 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 information, you know, trying to put the Hebrew Israelites is just going to cause people to uh, go against us and put us to death and persecute us. And, you know, and and, and put us to uh, in these um, what you call it? Uh, uh, jails and uh, camps and stuff, and it's, it's it's all prophesied. Matthew ten, I got um Matthew ten. I'll start at verse seventeen. Mm. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for this shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child. And the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. See, so the narrative that they keep on pushing at the black Hebrew Israelites, you know, Hebrew Israelites, you tell your friends, your family, your wife, your kids, you know, when all that pressure builds up through the media, people, people your loved ones, your close ones are going to uh, rat you out. And say, oh, well, he's a Hebrew Israelite, you know, he's a potential terrorist, you know, they're going to, th this is going to cause division even amongst your loved ones, man. And it says they're going to cause you to be put to death because ultimately, uh, uh, that's the narrative Esau's pushing in the news, man. They want uh, uh, this guy caught and, and ultimately put to death or, or, or to be found guilty and, and, and serve a death sentence, man, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But we know when a time comes when Esau comes down with that great wrath, it's either you're going to get down with their uh, agenda or you're going to be put in these camps and, and be beheaded or put to death, man. That's right, you know? that's right. And also the Lord says uh, when this devil comes, he's going to raise up us tethered against him. That's right. So we have nothing to fear because the Lord Yahweh is in complete control, man. Con, you know? con. There's more in this chapter, Matthew mm -hmm. 10, verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, mm -hmm. but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Yeah, why are we going to be hated? Because that's of right. what you're saying. Because yep. of, of the prophecies. Because of the, because of what you're saying are against what the whole world is pushing for, man. That's right. We're pushing for the destruction of Babylon that Yahweh shall so-called uh, black man is coming to uh, take this devil down. So obviously, that's, that's, not, that's not what they want to hear. Yeah, you know? yeah. And you see these, you know, words have also power when you see pedophile as now it's uh, we're falsely being accused of being pedophiles as well you know that's going to cause a stir you know amongst uh the world you know and and they're saying black hebrews are like murders christians you know come on man so now they're trying to put a division amongst people that even both believe in bibles man or bible readers mm -hmm. you know the real christians are the hebrew israelites man mm -hmm. you know but it just it, it it just proves that these words are buzzwords to invoke um, fear and, and anger and, and um, resentment. resentment and hatred towards a person, that, a, a Hebrew Israelite, man. It says mm -hmm. an anti-white terrorist or mm -hmm. terrorism. But come on. He got a uh, so-called white man, the Esau Edom, got to look in the mirror and see everything that he done was a, a terrorist type of te uh, uh, act, you yeah. know? And that's exactly why Apostle, said, uh, Apostle Paul says, uh, by a smooth word, if fell species, he shall deceive the mind of the simple. That's right. So anybody simple reads those uh, those words, automatically they're going to react to it. They're yeah. going to take judgment into their own hands. That's they're right. going to come after those the men of the Lord, man. Yeah. Thinking that, they're, thinking that they're doing this for a favor, man. That's right. And we we just knowing that, hey, this is part of the persecution. This is part of them falsely accusing us. And hey, we and that's why the brother started off, what was it, Luke, right? You mm -hmm. know, you got to count that cost and know what, what, what you are getting yourself into, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, just uh, uh, knowledge yourself as a Hebrew Israelite, that's, that ain't it, man. You got to, you know, go through the, the trials and tribulations, man. The rough times, man. And, and, and ultimately, this is what's coming because Esau knows for him to establish his New World Order agenda, the, the potential threats to that is the Hebrew Israelites are speaking the truth. They got to remove them somehow, some way. And this is part of their, their uh, agenda. Start with the media, you know. Start manipulating the minds of the simple, you know. And this is uh, St. John 15. Verse 18, mm -hmm. if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. That's right. If you were of the world, the world love is on. Mm -hmm. But because you are not of the world, but have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. That's right. It's Yahweh Shai speaking, man. You know, and he was hated like the brother mentioned in the Rome. He wasn't with the Romans. He was against him. We were speaking against him. He was also speaking against the uh, uh, the wicked amongst the Hebrew people. Israelites, That's amongst right. his own people, man. And and this go around, you know, 
we're speaking about against the Romans of this time, which is the Babylonians, which is uh, 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 Esau, Edom and here in America. And we're also speaking out against our own people because they are joined hand in hand with with with, with these uh, with the oppressor, man. And we're going to be hated for because uh, of that, man. Mm -hmm. And they hated Yahweh Shah. So that goes back to what we just read, man. The servant, what well, we quoted, the servant's not greater than his master. Mm -hmm. if, if he was spitted on, if he was mocked, he was falsely accused, he was put to death uh, unrighteously, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to have to go through that, man. You know? That's right, that's right. Uh, I got one. Um, Come. He that departed from he will make it from himself a prey. Uh, Isaiah 59, verse 14. Come. Isaiah yeah. 59, verse 14. And it says, uh, And judgment is turned away backward, and justice steady for far off. Uh, justice is steady for far off. I read it for you. Yeah, Isaiah yeah. 59, verse 14, you said, right? Yeah, come. I'm sure. And judgment is turned away backward. And justice standing for far off, for truth is fallen in the street, and iniquity cannot enter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil make him himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased, displeased him that there was no judgment. And that's exactly what it is. Once you come to this arena, calling yourself a, a Hebrew Israelite, acknowledge, acknowledge who you are, who your peoples are, you know, what your, what your nation, your, your nation, when you set up for righteousness, sick, Ultimately, you're gonna be a make a, 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 a you're gonna make you're gonna, you're gonna be met with resistance. Yeah. You're gonna be hated. You're gonna be uh in the public view. People are gonna see you and uh, what you're saying. The the thing that you've been saying. The Lord says uh that, that will give you mouth and wisdom. We shall your adversary shall not be able. That's, to that's the spirit. Resist. That's the spirit. I'm right on that, bro. Yeah. Real quick. So, oh, so, so ultimately, what you'll be saying uh, uh, against everything that this place stands for, by default, they're going to come against you, man. That's right. And this kind of coexists with what the brother was saying and what we read in Matthew, uh, the 10th chapter. But we'll read it again because, hey, the Lord repeats himself, man. You know? And, and this is what's going to happen. Luke 21, verse 12. But before all these... They shall lay their hands on you and persecute you. And he's mm -hmm. talking about you Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. uh, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle, settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Yeah, the words is what's causing Esau to react, man. Uh -huh. The words are fire, man. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah 5 verse 14, Baba Kusha. Jeremiah 5 verse 14. The Lord says the word that he's going to put in the mouth is going to cause our enemies to react against us, man. And yeah. that's exactly why you see Esau have laws, legislation, trying to come against us, the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. Because it's not that, because this devil noticed that there's a, a mass awakening of our people. Yeah. We know who we are, and we also know who he is, man. Yeah, that's and why. We know the destiny of, of his uh, of his kingdom. Yeah, that's why he comes trying to censor you. He's trying to come with our uh, guidelines and you know all this, all oh, this you, you mis -meta medical information or hate, or uh, hate speech, so on and so forth. This is his his tricky, slimy, conniving, cunning ways to try to remove. Any type of righteous speak that exposes them, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So we got Jeremiah 5, verse 14, and we'll go back to Luke. Mm -hmm. uh, Wherefore, thus said the Lord, uh, power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. And that's exactly what's currently happening to this devil. He's being devoured by the spirit of Yahweh Shai. So the only thing left to him for him to do is to react and That's right. bring forth the sword. That's his blessing. That's right. So uh, ultimately, very soon, these devils, they're going to come after us. But we know, we know that the Lord Yahweh Shai, like I said before, is in complete control, man. That's right. Uh, Luke 21, verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends. And some of you... And some of you shall they cause to be put to death, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, man. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. The people that are more closer to you, they got they are gonna be the one who's gonna giving you up, man. Because uh, when pressure built in, when when their back is against the wall, when they have to make a decision, they're gonna turn you in. They're gonna turn you in to save their life, to save the or uh, even your wife, your 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 your, your significant other. They're gonna turn you uh uh, uh to Esau to save themselves, man. That's right. That's how that's how bad it's going to be. Man. And 
the scripture clearly says too that things are gonna be so bad. Yeah, how is Shaga? Yeah, how about send his angel Michael to look after the elect? Then? That's right. And uh, real quick, I get Second Ezra 16, and I'll get uh, verse 70 right to the point. For there mm -hmm. shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. See, so this is that time of martial law, that great insurrection when Esau comes down with that great wrath, the devil, because he knows that he had but a short time and and he's gonna have uh, uh people cheering them on because ultimately we're being falsely accused mm -hmm. as this uh pedophile group hate group terrorist group so again the simple the, those that are manipulated by those smooth words, words and cunning acts of esau are going to be cheering and justifying esau's actions man and and it says those that fear the lord so they're going to come after those that are really righteous those that believe in yahweh you know so we're not ignorant to satan's devices and his plots and his little snares that he's doing with these articles as the uh headline or uh the article well the brother his uh title e E, which is for Esau, is reaching. And you mm -hmm. can see, this is a reach, man. This is a stretch Armstrong reach, man. <laughs> you know, this is some bullshit, man. But we just got to laugh at it. But ultimately, we got to expect it because the Bible is living and true. Mm -hmm. Everything has to be fulfilled. Persecution, that insurrection coming down, you know. I'll read that again. For they shall be like madmen, sparing none, and still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them into their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Yeah, because uh, in order for the Lord to, to, to react, Esau has to make his move. Yep. So uh, by Esau coming against, against us, that's a good thing. Because yeah. the Lord gonna show who who who's human oh, man. That's the next step, the That's, next move, mm -hmm. man. You know, Esau first has to react, and then the reaction is Yahweh Shemel Shah. Has to step in. Yep, that's right. And I just read that because ultimately we're telling you the persecutions come, but there's a salvation is through fearing the Lord and trusting in Him. Right. Verse seventy four. Hear, O ye, my beloved. That's the elect. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Yeah, the, the day of trouble are at hand. Synonymous with Jacob trouble. That's right. You know, the day of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver from the same. So, hey, the Lord is in control, man. That's right. Verse 75. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh is your guide, and a guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift, them, uh, lift up themselves, man. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's ultimately, you know, uh, 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 the guideline. You have to have faith and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that he'll deliver you when they come down, man. Mm -hmm. We know as John the Revelator seen some that were martyred, you know, uh, beheaded, beheaded uh, for not taking, the, you know, the mark of the beast and falling for that beast system. But, hey, it says endure until the end, even till death, and the Lord shall give thee a crown of life, man. Have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Don't give up and waver and, 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 and give up your faith just because Esau's coming down. Because ultimately the Lord is in control of both sides. The evil and the good, and the good man. Yeah. So with that, man, hey, um, again, man, we see what Esau's doing. We're saying, as the scripture says, be not, uh, well... It says, uh, it, uh, Satan, you know, be not ignorant of Satan's devices, right. roughly paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. You know, those that's in the light and the know, we know what time it is, man. And for those that not knowing, hey, you better, you better, you better wake up, man. Esau has plans to come down with great wrath, man. So you, you better, uh, s re repent and seek the Lord and, uh, uh, seek him 10 times more, man. Mm -hmm. So with that, we pray everything was edifying. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahushah, by Shem Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us his truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf, that would die. That's the house of David, the elect. Until next time, we want to say Adawan Ratzazah, which means Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom.